Hi everybody, I wanted to welcome you to the myofascial release in the soft tissue mobilization course. And I'd like to take a couple of minutes to discuss this course. So this course is part one of two. This course is 48 hours and we're gonna be exploring passive myofascial mobilization techniques. Part two of the course are the active myofascial mobilization techniques that we will be discussing a little bit later. This course, uh, the passive course, is uh, going to be a great, not only, I don't want to use the word introduction because it's much more than an introduction to myofascial mobilization techniques. We're really going to be getting into the exploration of fascia, musculoskeletal system. We're going to be starting off with anatomy and physiology of fascia and uh, in the relationship that's entwined with the musculoskeletal system. We're also going to be discussing many soft tissue pathologies and treatment strategies. Uh, and so we're going to be taking a look at ITB syndrome. We're going to be taking a look at frozen shoulder. We're going to be taking a look at plantar fasciitis. And then how those different uh, soft tissue pathologies relate to our postural assessments that we're going to be spending lots of time exploring. So also within this course right in the beginning, we're going to be taking a look at postural assessments. And we're going to be doing a full body postural assessment on each other in day one. And then by day two, when we start getting into the, into the different regions of the body, we're going to be taking a look at the neck, shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle. And we're going to be relating our postural assessments and breaking them up regionally, sort of dissecting the neck, then the shoulder, and et cetera, et cetera. And as we dissect each one of those regions, we're going to be taking a look at the associated common soft tissue pathologies that we're going to be seeing there. And we're going to be uh, really looking at the chronic complaints that our patients are going to be having at each one of these soft tissue pathologies. And we're going to be taking a look at how, we, how to treat these different pathologies and also how to treat the different regions that we see these myofascial postural asymmetries going on. And we're going to be doing this by utilizing passive myofascial mobilization techniques. And so our techniques are going to be including tense and relaxed, reciprocal inhibition, pin and stretch, passive stretching techniques, and also active stretching techniques. We're going to be looking at soft tissue myofascial mobilization techniques, uh, which this is really the root of the active techniques is really starting to get into some of those soft tissue mobilization techniques. So we will be including some of these techniques at the end so you can uh, see the difference before we jump into the active course, which is going to be the next six day course, you can start to see the difference between the active and the passive. And we're also going to be doing some basic myofascial release techniques that some of you may have already learned, but we're going to be exploring those techniques within the context of really learning about the fascial anatomy. And so I think think that you guys are going to be having a much different understanding of how to use these techniques as we are starting to express ourselves within this new understanding of the myofascial system. So if you're interested in this course, go to kata, C-A-T-A-N-Y-C.com and sign up for this course. Go through their structural integration tab and look for this course. I look forward to seeing you guys there.